What is up, guys? We are back here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for my GM episode, not episode three, episode number four, four, episode number four, WWE 2K22, my GM, on the road to hell in the cell. Let's get into it. All right, so we just wrapped up SummerSlam in the last episode, so go check that out. So we do have some stuff to, uh, I guess, recap real quick. And that'll be our current champions for anybody who's joining us for the first time. So, of course, our current SmackDown Tag Team Champions are the Animal Batista and the franchise John Cena. Our current SmackDown Women's Champion, as you guys can see, is the one that is in real life, and that is Liv Morgan. And then all the way at the top there is one of, you know, you know my favorite superstar of all time, my favorite wrestler of all time, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio, is our current champion universal champion so uh we capped the Rey mysterio and randy orton rivalry at uh summer slams uh we, and we did promise cesaro a championship matchup so we're going to be doing cesaro and Rey probably on this smackdown and uh what else did we have to do let me go check out the journal real quick nakamura wanted a, another match with batista as well as indy hartwell wanted a uh tlc match and randy orton wants a tag team match with guerrero so we do have some good stuff to uh work with here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go uh singles match up here in our uh main event we are what is this week 11 albuquerque new mexico ray mysterio going one-on-one -on -one with cesaro ray's stamina is a 19 but we're gonna hope for the best here uh we're gonna have a championship matchup ray versus cesaro we are going to go mid card uh where, where we got indy hartwell and naomi in a TLC match, as we promised Indy Hartwell, and that is also the feud that we have been doing the last number of weeks, Indy Hartwell and Naomi. What else we got? We got, uh, let's actually, let's start off the show strong with a Batista and Nakamura matchup one-on-one. -on -one. We gotta have a, a banger opening matchup, trying to learn my lessons from the last episode, if you guys checked it out, so go watch that. Uh, and then in our second, or excuse me, our first mid-card matchup, we will team up Eddie Guerrero and Randy Orton for the first time. And they will go up against Booker T, who's been in a little feud with Eddie, and Wesley, uh, the last guy who we had team up with Booker T. So that'll be our SmackDown, uh, keeping it light, uh, but still pretty, pretty solid show. You know, really uh, good stuff for the most part. So we we're gonna do, let's do John Cena, uh, a little promo here, just keep, uh, keep him on the show. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Let's do a little promo between Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez to keep their feud going, and. Still a Johnny Gargano promo, which I believe we still need to get Gargano. I believe we have one more week for that. Uh, we need to have Gargano in a match and be in his corner, uh, as we promised him. But we have another week for that, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, looking like a pretty good show. Uh, I'm going to save some money this week and just uh, book the Capital Wrestling Center instead of the uh, Thunderdome. Excuse me. Uh, but we'll go all out for the rest of the stuff, which we actually can't because that goes way over our show budget. Um... We want to need to go real low this week with our, our special effects and whatnot. Uh, we're gonna go low advertising. Yeah, all right, that works. We gotta go. We gotta keep it cheap this week. So, all right, there's the show. Let's go ahead and confirm this booking here. Week 11, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like I said, we're on the road to the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view, and uh, we got we gotta be a roll, man. We have uh, you know been losing a roll week after week, so we need a good week and uh, a good build up to the pay-per-view. So we're kicking things off. With Batista versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Hopefully, Big Dave doesn't come out of this with the old injury. And looks like he came out uh, unscathed. So, that's good. So, and he picks up the victory. Three star. Three and a half star. Great matchup. Uh, big win for Batista. His tag team partner, John Cena, is going to have a little promo in the show. And then we're going to go tag team matchup here. Eddie Guerrero and Randy Orton, who wanted the team together, versus Booker T and Wesley. Hopefully, uh, what is it, Orton doesn't come out of this with an injury. He just had that uh, matchup with Ray at SummerSlam, and he looks good as well. So we have a new rivalry, two and a half star, okay matchup, and we get Orton and uh, Eddie Guerrero together. Maybe they could be the next challengers for Batista and uh, John Cena for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships at Hell in the Cell. That remains to be seen. But we have our TLC match, Indy Hartwell versus Naomi, keeping this feud going and giving Indy Hartwell the TLC match that she wanted, and she picks up the victory in a three and a half star. Great matchup. Rivalry grows. I'm sure Indy's uh, morale is going to be looking good after that matchup. We have a little Johnny Gargano promo. And then, of course, in the main event, we're giving Cesaro the championship match that we promised him. And hopefully, Rey Mysterio does not come out of this match uh, with an injury. And Rey Mysterio is going to retain the Universal Championship. Three star, good matchup, and he's not coming out with an injury so you love to see it hopefully we had a half decent show uh post SummerSlam against monday night raw here it looks like monday night raw is keeping it pretty uh cheap and basic as well uh, there's no way we can't have a better show this week man all right so raw had a better opener man all right so i mean 
poor finale. Really, your main event was overshadowed by a more entertaining mid card, leaving fans disappointed at the end. Swapping these two matches, I, I hear you. I hear you. TLC match should have went over the. T it's the championship, though, man. I got. I mean, we got to make some expectations, or well, not expectations. Uh, is that the word I'm looking for? Change some expectations. I don't know, but. I don't know. Raw would beat us in the opener, even first mid card match. We beat him in the second mid card, and then they beat us in the main event. How did they beat us in the main event? Drew McIntyre, Roger Strong, <sighs> whatever, it is what it is. So Raw is most likely uh, on top once again this week. It is what it is. The yeah, ranking uh, for us is two. We have a free crew booking though, which is going to uh, work well for us. You know, save some money. So it is what it is. Raw is still on top. It's week. We're heading into week twelve of a twenty five week my GM. So. Getting close. Uh, we're getting close. We're basically at the halfway point. So hopefully we can bounce back on the road to Hell in a Cell, man. We need some some big time uh, stuff going on for SmackDown. But Eddie Guerrero in here saying my contract is up at the end of the week. Eddie's going to want more money, which we cannot afford. Uh, I'd be interested in staying at the cost of 146 I might have to lowball Eddie, man. I might have to lowball Eddie. I, I don't want to, but like the budget not looking good right now, dude. I got I to gotta lowball him. Not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. See you next week. Yeah, it is what it is. What can you do? Booker wants more money, and we're going to have to lowball Booker as well. I need to save some money, man. I need to save some money. I wish I could negotiate, like I said. Can we get that next year's game? I negotiate my own pro my own uh, price, excuse me, but what can you do? Uh, Cesaro, I appreciate the title shot. It's good to have a boss that keeps their word. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, small increase to Cesaro's morale. You'll have to see it. Randy Orton, I told you. Eddie and I really hit it off the tag last week. Thanks for paying us up. We're looking forward to our next tag match. No problem, Randy. You're most likely going to be the number one contender. So, I'm all for it. So, all right. So, we got some stuff. We really need to, uh, like I said, budget is... Budget zero dollars? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is our budget zero dollars? Do we have no money? <laughs> we have no money on SmackDown at the moment. We need to... Uh, all right. We need to manage this roster, dude. We got to... Somebody's got to... Somebody's got to go. Somebody's got to go. We're going to cut the boogeyman. We have no <laughs> we have no money on SmackDown right now. All right, so we're going to cut the boogeyman. We're going to cut Ember Moon. We do have a big roster. Wait. You cannot release more than one superstar per week. That's ridiculous. That's that's stupid. That is ridiculous. All right. That's really stupid. We're going to go free. We're, we're, using, we're using these free power cards to try to get every any help we can get. We have a 27,000... <laughs> budget for this week so uh this show is not gonna be one that's gonna be putting uh, a lot of butts in seats but what can you do so let's go tag team main event here we're gonna go batista and cena versus eddie and orton for uh tag team championships cost is zero dollars you love to see it uh let's go ray mysterio versus let's go ray versus umaga would be a good match what's the commissioner go uh, ensure that eddie fights no problem and then, let's go Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez for the... Actually, we'll do that in the opener so we can have, maybe have a hot opener. SmackDown Women's title in the opener. And then in our second mid-card match, we'll do another tag, which will be Booker and Wesley versus uh, Cesaro and Nakamura. Actually, you know what? Let me go in. Wait, I got to change. How do I, can I delete? What is it? Clear match. Clear this match. Okay, now everything's everything's getting messed up. All right, where's Wesley? Wesley, Nakamura, and Umaga. There's the tag, and then we'll go Ray and Cesaro for the second week in a row. Self promo here. We got to get Gargano on the show. All right, so never mind. We're actually going to go Gargano here. Interference, GM interference. Okay. Wait, is that interference? So he's on Regal's side. I think. Yeah. And then, honestly, Ray's on a 10 uh, stamina here, so we're just going to go ahead and take him out of this match. We're going to put the Hurricane in here. Not going to be a good matchup, but is what it is. Uh, working with what we got this week, which is a light, light, uh, small budget, <laughs> as you guys can see. Uh, we'll go promo in, uh, from Alexa Bliss, which... Oh, promos cost some freaking money, man. Uh, call out promo. All right. So we'll do that. All right. High school gym. We can't even. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we have we have a free road crew this week, so we'll go best of the best with that. 
And, uh, yeah, we'll keep it cheap. We're keeping it cheap. All right, so that is, that's going to be the card for this week. And uh, hopefully this is good enough to get us by, <laughs> get some money hopefully back this week because we have a small-ass budget. Uh, we'll probably still release Ember Moon when we get uh, back to, you know, after this week so we can try to get some more money in the uh, bank. We got, we've just been spending a lot, so it's all the Legends contracts we got, but uh, we're working with what we got. But anyway, let's kick off this week's SmackDown. Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez for the SmackDown Women's Championship, and Liv Morgan's going to retain in a four-star amazing match. Watch, that's going to be better than the main event, and then the thing's going to tell me, well, your show sucked because your opener is better than your main. <sighs> you can't win. You can't win around here. Cesaro promo. Excellent. Uh, we get a tag team matchup, which is going to be Booker T and Wes Lee versus Umaga and Shinsuke Nakamura. And Wes Lee and Booker T pick up the victory in a two and a half star okay matchup. Promo from Alexa Bliss, looking half decent. Uh, and then we have the Hurricane versus Johnny Gargano, a little GM interference, as we promised uh, Gargano. And he picks up the victory. So uh, good stuff there. Two and a half star okay matchup. We have Naomi and Indy Hartwell promo. Continuing their rivalry on. And then we're on to our main event, which is Batista and John Cena versus Randy Orton and Eddie Guerrero for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Uh, hopefully, this is as good as the opening matchup, so uh, the AI doesn't tell us we suck. But it's a three-and-a-half star great matchup. Eddie and Orton win the tag team titles. Unfortunately, Orton goes down with an injury, so not what you love to see <laughs> coming out of SmackDown. But we're working with what we got. We are working with what we got. Rawls back in the Thunderdome. Uh, good for you. Uh, and they got, you know, your average ass show this week. So, Simulate, we beat them in the opener, uh, and they beat us in the two mid-card matches, but we beat them in the main event. Uh, so, we actually got good booking this week. That's that's shocking. We got good booking. Your opener and main event were the highlights of your show, as they should be. Focus on raising the quality of your matches for higher show results. I'll take what I can get. Uh, what do we say? Orton's out for three weeks. What can you do? Maybe we have a power card that can uh, speed that up a little bit. But there's Monday Night Raw's results. And, uh, yeah, so Rawls, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we had a, a pretty even week, I'd say. A better opener, better main event. So maybe we're on top this week. Now, ranking, ranking two is what it is, is what it is. I don't know. Like, somebody let me know. Does the rank, is the ranking supposed to change every week? Like, one, two, or is it just, like, kind of overall the whole thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not very intelligent with this. I'm just, you know, playing the game. But Rawls on top. What can you do? All right, two weeks till hell in the cell. Umaga, my contract is up at the end of the week. That is not good. Uh, thanks for the work, Umaga, but I won't be renewing your contract. Umaga, I literally... I can't afford to re-sign Umaga. I might just have to see what happens if I hit thanks for the work. He might... I don't know if that just completely releases him, if I'll have the chance to re-sign him. What can you do? Uh, I'm sorry, Umaga. This will be my final week at SmackDown. It's, so there's not a boost or anything or, or a decrease to his like morale. So maybe I'll if he goes into the free agency, I just re-sign him. I don't know for like normal price. Hurricane's in here getting upset because we helped out Gargano. Uh, you know what? What can you do? And then Liv Morgan, my friends and family have been waiting so long to see me compete live in Newark. Can't wait to entertain them tonight. Okay, we're in Newark, New Jersey. So we gotta put Liv Morgan on the show. Book your least popular available star for a match this week is our commissioner goal so as you can see Rawls been kicking our ass since basically the beginning what can you do uh to add two weeks to a oh we we're actually going to use that so who's whose contract's coming up uh batista's is coming up uh so i think we're going to go ahead and use it on i mean we could use it on maga but then batista is going to be coming up soon anyway so we're just going to use it on batista he's obviously more valuable to the brand so go ahead and uh re-sign big dave there so send the choosing superstar to a top spa uh, let's see. Can we can we heal up Randy Orton any faster? I think it'll just. I don't know if that's. Uh, he's still like hurt, but whatever. Correct. Busy one week. I don't know. Whatever. Um. So there's no real. I'm honestly not really in the boat to sign anybody right now. Our budget's like just getting back to, like normal. So we still got to keep it light. But uh, we're in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, so we're gonna kick things off here with uh, Liv Morgan, Raquel Gonzalez. One on one. Who's our least book your least popular available star for a match this week? So let's actually go tag team matchup. Uh, Ember Moon, who actually we're gonna backtrack here. We're actually gonna <laughs> release Ember Moon. I almost forgot to do that so we could save some money since we haven't been using her. So 
release Ember Moon from her contract. That'll get some money in there. And then I believe our least popular star goes to Indy Hartwell. So it'll be Naomi and Indy Hartwell versus, uh, or the tag team matchup, excuse me, Liv and Naomi versus Raquel and Indy Hartwell here. We'll go down. Let's go. We need a big main event. Let's go Rey Mysterio here, which is, his stamina is still in it, but working with what we got again, Rey versus, let's go Umaga. Maybe if Umaga wins, we'll try to re-sign him. I don't know. Uh, it should be a good matchup here. Let's go Rey versus Umaga. In the main, we'll go, you know what, I think, backtrack, backtrack. We really gotta play strategic here, so we're gonna go Eddie, oh, well, Orton's injured, I'm an idiot. So, we'll, alright, we'll go Cena and Batista versus, let's go Nakamura and Umaga. We'll do it, we'll run that back uh, in this in this matchup. We'll go Ray on the card versus Eddie Guerrero, which should obviously be sick. And then we'll go Booker versus Cesaro. Booker versus Cesaro. And then what we got here? Promo from Gargano. Promo from Wesley. Promo from Bliss. I mean, we really don't need to make these promos. You know what? We're not going to do any promos this week. I'm saving the freaking money. We don't, They're unnecessary. We don't need to do them this week. So, Arena. We're going to go ahead and do the Thunderdome this week. We'll uh, go, out, go out of our way a little bit. We'll just keep the advertising low, and that'll be our show. So, week 13, Newark, New Jersey. I believe this is the second to last before Hell in the Cell. I don't know. So, uh, we'll go ahead and see. Hopefully, we can have a banger show, uh, or at least a good enough show. Keep us going with Hell in the Cell. We got to bounce back, man. Screw Monday Night Raw. We got to bounce back. So, we're kicking it off the tag match. Naomi and Liv versus Indy Hartwell and Raquel Gonzalez. And the SmackDown Women's Champion, Liv Morgan, as well as Naomi, pick up the victory uh, in the tag team matchup, we have Booker T versus Cesaro one on one here, and it's going to be the Swiss Superman Cesaro picking up the victory. Two and a half star, okay matchup. We have Rey Mysterio, our Universal Champion, versus one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Eddie Guerrero, who is going to pick up the victory, and it is the Universal Champion Rey Mysterio. New rivalry created between Rey and Eddie. Love to see it. And then we have Cena and Batista versus Umaga and Nakamura in the main event. Hopefully. We're really running some risk here, but hopefully nobody comes out of this match injured, meaning Cena and Batista. So, Cena and Batista win. Doesn't look like any injury, so good stuff. So, and it's three and a half star, great match. So, looks like we had a half decent SmackDown. You know, I saved some money not doing any unnecessary promos this week. We're all over here, but it's a WWE title match. Second, second in the freaking match on the show. Probably gonna have a better week than us. They got Danny Burch and R-Truth in the opening matchup. They had a five-star freaking matchup between... Are you kidding me? Danny Burch and R-Truth TLC match five stars. Can't, what are we doing? What are we doing? This, I, don't, I don't like the AI here. Uh, <laughs> Raw beats us, man. Raw beats us. We only tied them in the, the, the second mid-card match where they had Eric versus Akira Tozawa and we had our Universal Champion... Rey Mysterio versus our SmackDown Tag Team Champion, one half, Eddie Guerrero. We had good booking, though, so that's all fine and dandy. Uh, fan change, plus 36,000, and uh, we, we gained 98,000 in uh, revenue this week, which brings our budget up much needed. So, is what it is, man. We're, uh, we're inching real close to Hell in the Cell. We need a banger Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. What are we, I think, one week away? Correct? Yes, one week away until Hell in a Cell. So, Triple H, you're not going to like this, but... Raw, up yours. Uh, not, But none of Alexa, Indy Hartwell, and Randy Orton can take part in your show this week. Thanks a lot, Trips. Uh, Hurricane, things aren't working out in SmackDown. I'm ready to tear up my contract and move on. Hmm. I mean, especially after you decided to mess up my match that time. The only way you can convince me to stay is with a hundred... Hurricane, I can't pay that, bro. We, we gotta, I gotta save the money for the matches and stuff, so... I'm sorry. I, I enjoyed your time here, but it looks like you're, you're leaving. So, it looks like we just lost the Hurricane. What can you do? Liv Morgan, I'm really excited for this upcoming pay-per-view. Can't wait to put on a great show for the crowd. Sounds good. So, uh, I'm gonna assume... Let's go check out... So, we can't use Orton, Indy Hartwell, or Bliss this week. We just lost the Hurricane. We've released a couple people, so our roster is getting real slim... Uh, or, well, we, I, I guess we couldn't use Orton anyway because he was injured, so is what it is. But, uh, let's see if there's anybody, like, cheap. I, and I don't mean any of these freaking, like, you know, what about jobbers, local local jobbers 
we get signed to the roster. I guess it's really not necessary. Umaga is officially back. You know, we could just re-sign Umaga now for normal price. Keep him around the roster. Or we could sign somebody new. I'd honestly sign JBL if he was in here. I'll keep... I, I want to buy Umaga. Keep him on the roster. But, like, we'll just... We'll move on until we book the show and we see if he's he's needed. So, uh, rest your current champions this week. Dude, I can't... I can't rest my current champions this week. That means Eddie, Ray, and Liv will all be off the show. I'll have nobody. And, like, look at look at these stamps. Batista's salmon is low. Is there any power cards we can use? My God. Reduce uh, injury time for one superstar by three weeks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use that on Randy Orton. That way, at least next week, he can be back, I think. So, that'll be good. Uh, but everything else, I'm just... We're, we're, we're in a tight spot in, in my GM right now. We are in a tight spot. All right, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to re-sign Umaga. You know, he's back at normal price. I'll, I'm just going to take him. 46000 right, We're going to need him for the We're gonna need him for the show this week. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. We're just we're going to need him. So, let's go ahead. We're going to book John Cena versus Umaga in the main event, which their staminas are low as well, but what can you do? Uh, we got to rest our champion. How am I supposed to rest my champions? Whatever, man. We got to do what we got to do. Batista versus Nakamura. This is going to be a weak-ass show this week. Uh, Naomi. Oh, I can't do Indy Hart. We'll do Raquel Gonzalez. Uh, we'll do a tables matchup just to try to boost that up. And then what do we got? We got Booker, Gargano. We got enough for a tag. We can do a tag. Let's do Booker and Wesley versus Cesaro and Gargano there. And that way, I'm fulfilling my commissioner goal, which I want free special effects booking because we can use that probably on pay-per-view. Help us get a pay better pay per view and all that stuff. So we just we gotta play we gotta play smart, man. We gotta do what we can, save some money, get through it. All right, so this is gonna be our show. Go ahead and confirm week fourteen, Hartford, Connecticut, and uh, I believe again the last SmackDown before Hell in a Cell, which we're gonna need uh, to come out Guns of Blaine's in there. So we got. SmackDown kicking off with Booker T and Wesley versus Gargano and Cesaro. Which Booker T and Wesley pick up the win. Two and a half star matchup. Naomi and Raquel Gonzalez is going to be a tables matchup. Which she sees, excuse me, Raquel Gonzalez pick up the win. Three star. Good matchup. So the match is going good. Uh, Batista, Nakamura. Hopefully Batista doesn't come out injured. Doesn't look like he did. Batista picks up the win. Three and a half star. Great matchup. All right. So match, match quality wise, this is a good show so far. Uh, not sure if it's going to be enough to beat Raw, but, you know, we're working with what we got. John Cena picks up the win over Umaga. Mediocre main event, of course, so that's going to go well against us. But is what it is. Uh, here's Raw's just... Th this is Raw. This is Raw. This is Trent Seven and Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. Well, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Raw obviously beat us in the opener, even mid-card, and then they beat us in the main event. So, what can I do? All right, before we get to Hell in the Cell, Liv Morgan is in here saying my contract is up at the end of the week, and now she wants more money. <sighs> I, I'm 66 k in you. I hate being lowballed, but okay, I'll take the offer. Honey, we don't have that much money to work with. Uh, Triple H, I noticed you haven't been regularly using call. Yeah, I know, Triple H. I'm trying to save money, Hunter. I'm trying to be a businessman and save some money. Uh, Umaga, hey, I feel like I'm the fall guy every week at the moment. Whatever my next match is, I want to win, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Alexa Bliss, I haven't had any matches in a while. Do you have room for me on the card on tonight's show? Sure thing, Alexa. You can have a match at Hell in the Cell. Alright, so we're at Hell in the Cell. Uh, and sure that Cesaro cuts a promo this week. No problem. We're going to use our free special effects booking here. Because that'll save us some money. Do you got two uh, power cards that are interested in me here? Get the tables and ex uh, two extreme. Excuse me. I think I'll go ahead. I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm going to pick up the two extreme one. That way we can use that on Hell in the Cell. And uh, up the ratings a little bit. And uh, hopefully that'll help us out trying to defeat Monday Night Raw. So anyway, let's get in to the freaking uh, big stadium. Crew the moment. Okay. We'll go ahead. Hell in the Cell. Whatever. Uh, book our stuff. We're just going to go, we'll go 25000 with the advertisement here. So, all right, let's go ahead and book Hell in a Cell. So, main event, Rey Mysterio. Rey, there's no way he's coming out of Hell in a Cell. Not hurt. Um, 
God, man. All right, what can we do here? Let's do, what if we do a tag team Hell in a Cell matchup? We'll do Eddie and Orton, who's back. And we will do, if I put Batista inside Hell in a Cell, dude, this, he's gonna, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Uh, God, man, I'm, feel, I'm feeling strapped, man. I'm feeling strapped. Booker T, you know what? You know what? We're gonna give Booker T and Wesley a huge opportunity here. Hell in the Cell, Eddie Guerrero and Orton, tag titles are on the line. Main event. Screw it. We're going main event. Rey Mysterio is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Cesaro for... I will do a tables match for the Universal Championship. God, I hope Rey doesn't come out injured. Actually, you know what? Extreme rule. I should, I should have bought the tables one. Whatever. Uh, well, I'll do another matchup. So tables. We will do Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez in a Extreme Rules match. We will do, uh, let's go, I really don't want Batista to get hurt, and he is dangerously close, so we're gonna go Cena versus Umanga here, or no, we'll go Cena versus Nakamura here, one-on-one, -on -one. and then we got left, I wish I, I, I'm not gonna buy, uh, or purchase another woman from the free agency just to have a match, but we said Alexa would be on the card, so we're gonna put her on the card, Alexa versus Indy Hartwell, and we will do a run-in from Naomi to get her involved, promo from Batista, Promo from Umaga and promo from Gargano. And then everybody's on the card. Hopefully, this card is good enough to beat out Monday Night Raw, at least in the ratings for Hell in a Cell. Everyone say a prayer. We got Lex and Indy Hartwell. We got uh, two normal matches, an Extreme Rules, a Tables, a Hell in a Cell, giving some new opportunities here. I'm hoping for the best. I already took care of the logistics. All right, let's go ahead and confirm this. Let's go ahead and hope for the best. All right, kicking off Hell in the Cell, we got Alexa Bliss and Indy Hartwell one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, we're keeping the Naomi-Indy Hartwell feud going with the run-in. Indy Hartwell, though, battling back, still picks up the victory in a two-and-a-half-star okay matchup to kick off the show. Is what it is. It's a fine opener matchup. Batista picks up the win, or picks up the win, excuse me, has a okay promo. Uh, we have John Cena and Nakamura one-on-one -on -one here, which is going to be John Cena picking up the victory in a three-and-a-half-star Great matchup. You love to see it. Uh, Umaga's going to get the mic for an okay promo. Uh, then we're going to move on to Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez. Extreme rules for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We also have that power card applied, so the ratings for this should be uh, extraordinary. Liv Morgan picks up the win, and we have a five-star. We should have put that in the main event. Damn it, I'm an idiot. Uh, I just forget these things. Five-star matchup between Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez. Completing their feud. Legendary matchup. You'll love to see it. Uh, it's going to tell me, well, it was good, but you should have put it in the main event, so your show sucked. Guarantee it. Uh, Johnny Gargano promo there. We have Wright and Cesaro. Tables match up for the Universal Championship, which sees the Master of the 619, Rey Mysterio, retain the championship. Three and a half star. Great matchup. And then in the main event, Hell in a Cell, Wesley and Booker T versus Randy Orton and Eddie Guerrero for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Eddie and Orton retain the titles in a four and a half star classic matchup. So can't really ask for anything uh, better than that. Well, five stars, but we got a five star match. So SmackDown looked good, man. SmackDown looked good. I'm confident. I'm feeling good. Hopefully we can beat out Raw. Raw's got, you know, obviously going to beat us in the opener matchup. Uh, but the rest of the show, I'm pretty confident that we can beat. So let's go ahead and simulate Raw's side of Hell in the Cell. They beat us in the opener, even mid card match. Uh, destroyed them in the second mid-card match. Uh, they beat us in the third mid-card match, and we had an even main event. So, of course, the one thing that the uh, AI is going to point out here is that we had a poor opener. C can you give us a pat on the back for anything? Like, I'm just saying. Oh, but Raw, great booking. Get out of here. Get out of here. We had an awesome show. Oh, yeah. All awesome, awesome hell in the cell. Five-star matchup between Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez. Three and a half stars all around. Four and a half star main event. Our, our Hell in the Cell match was even with their one-on-one -on -one Drew McIntyre versus Roger Strong match. I don't believe that. I do not believe that. I know they've been doing McIntyre versus Strong for the longest time. They got a rivalry going, whatever. But we had Hell in the Cell on the titles are line. We should, we should have a better rating. That's just me. That's just me. But I don't decide how the game works. But uh, fan change. Gained some good fans. Gained some good revenue. Obviously still ranked number two. Because this game hates, hates Friday Night Smackdown. But what can you do? Raw is still in charge. Liv Morgan says, hey, what an amazing growth we've seen lately from SmackDown. I like to stay humble when I can, but you have to admit, you've seen some amazing growth out of me right 
I may not be on SmackDown forever, but I sure wish I could. I've given so much to the brand. What do you think of the job I've done? I absolutely appreciate what you've been bringing to SmackDown. You're one of the top stars. In fact, I want to offer you a 50k bonus. And then on the other hand, it's I appreciate you, but despite your popularity, I can't show you special treatment. All right, well, you know what? I'll, I'll give her the bonus. What can you do? Yeah, they say money can't solve problems, but it definitely helps. Get out of here. Anyway, Indy Harwell, that loser, Naomi, attacked me. I want to settle things in the next three weeks. Absolutely, we'll keep your feud uh, with Naomi going. Good stuff there. And uh, I think this where we'll cap off this week's episode. I believe it said we are uh, on the road to TLC next. So that'll be our next pay-per-view. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this My GM episode, episode number four. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you want to check back with me. Watch some more My GM episodes. If you want to see more of them, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button down below. Thank you guys for checking out the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.